How's everybody doing here? Live from the Red Room of Doom. This is Swords for the Men. I'm your host, Sean Joyce, and my great co-host. It's the man, Joshy Boy. We're here. We're a little disappointed. Unfortunately, the Sabres have lost their opener. This is our post-game and first week episode here. And uh, we're ready to get it rumbling. We are. But unfortunately, we'll break off with the big news. Sabres had their opening game tonight against Montreal Canadiens at home. They lost 3-2 in a shootout. We got a point. There's a good positive. I'll take the point. <laughs> I'm a little happy about that, right? But, I don't mind it. But uh, a team that played really well, really focused, really hard to the bone mm-hmm. tonight. A defense that was attacking and fast, just like Phil Halsey said. Yeah. We can't complain. We outshot the Canadians at 45 tonight. This is what he said. What he said would happen would happen. And if some unlucky bounces didn't happen, like the second goal, you know, we would have capitalized better. So anything that you yeah. took away from today? I mean, I think I think that it was your typical um, Canadians game, Canadians versus Sabres game. Uh, I called the loss already the other day. No. <laughs> uh, the one and only game I went to actually last season was a Canadians game, mm-hmm. and guess what? They lost, they lost. on a breakaway, three to two. So <laughs> it's Car- it's Carey Price, man. Yeah, he's good. I'm, I'm, not, gonna, those shots, but... I'm not gonna complain though because we got a point. I don't I don't mind the point. Just we got to get on to tomorrow against the Islanders, and mm-hmm. it's actually an away game. But you know. I, we're not bad actually uh, on the away record, so no, we played well tonight. There's not much to complain about, you know. There's a lot of happiness, especially the population of Pondville is climbing back up. Like I said last show, guess the guess the number went up. Two, two more, two baby, two. God, man, to see Pondville <laughs> score both goals and I was just like, oh, oh it my God. gave me the chills, man. The thrill of just watching him score a goal for Buffalo again. It's so amazing. And as I was talking about the last few shows, if we can get Jason Pavanville at 40, 50 point level, then we we won the trade, of course. But how much better can the team be? This line of Kane, Michael, and Pavanville, if yeah. they can keep up with each other. And J- we know Jason has a shot. Jason's shot's his biggest thing. That's what it's always been is his shot. You get him the puck, he's going to put it away. Especially on the second goal tonight when Jack sent it across the ice between two defenders to set up Pommelville to put it top shelf. That's what we want. Yep. Eichel to Pommelville. Really Eichel isn't Pommelville. could possibly That's be. That's the new connection, you know. Shit, Evander even hopped in mm-hmm. on the play. And it's just like, hey, man, we're rolling around. I'm, man, you know what? Honestly, I could watch that line play all night long. Mm-hmm. As long when they get it rolling and they're clicking – they could score a lot of goals, but they just got to play conservative. You know, they can't get too greedy. But I don't think they ever get to I – don't, I really don't think they get really greedy that much. You know, I think Jack – Jack's a team player. He passes it a lot. Those side players up well. You know, like, they're all worried about Jack, and so they're more focused on him. Mm-hmm. So then, you know, look who's open. Jason yeah. Tomville. And Evander Kane. Kane. Evander Kane. <laughs> O'Reilly, or hopefully O'Reilly plays a little bit better. Oh also. man, dude, I can kill the second line. <clears throat> I don't know why why O'Reilly and Oposo don't click more together. Mm-hmm. I I I don't know who's playing wing with them today. He's a, he's he's a good player but, too, you know. I I love Oposo. <sighs> We're paying right. I think they need to get in the mid season form real quick so they can step it up. We're paying Ryan seven point five mil a year. To not put up that much that he needs to. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna really jump the gun yet. I think tomorrow he's gonna show us a little bit more of what he's what he's capable of. I've been bitching about yeah, Ryan man. since last year, and I shouldn't. And you're right, I should be yeah. on But man, <sighs> need more. He's tough though. So I love tough guys. And playing the Canadians, we need to we need to score more. And we only put up two and. That's not mm-hmm. enough. Now, the D played hands over feet better, of course. Mm-hmm. Just to, to hold the Canadians in two. 
there's a lot of positives to take away from tonight. It's no. not a negative at all. I'm very happy with it. I can breathe on it. So, can you take the same away from that? Yeah, I mean, I can say, I can say that there was some, there was a lot of positives out of this game tonight, and and there were some negatives, but you know, you just gotta get past them, practice, get on to the next game, and that's that's how you that's how you do it. Laner, thirty eight saves on forty shots. <clears throat> Played a good game. Defense was up there. I just. You know, the thing that they need to do, honestly, is get better in the shootout. And don't, don't, do not give up in the third period. Because I'm tired of saying this every single season. Every game I see, the Sabres give up in the third period. I can't stand it. Give up or do you think it's just a fart? No, they don't, they don't, they they more, not so much give up. I'll, I'll change my opinion on that. They more, they fall asleep. You know, they, they lose it. It's their, not stam- their stamina is not nearly as high as another playoff competitive team is capable of. So, it's not the same know, competitive. They, they need to work on their conditioning more. Hopefully, the program that they have is a pretty good one. But if they need to improve it, then, you know, may, maybe they need to skate more. Maybe they need more timing on the ice. Mm-hmm. Maybe they need to practice more drills. I don't know. They just need to get something together because they need to get better in the shootout and do not give up in the third period. I agree hundred percent. I don't like a stat here. I don't think like Victor Antipin played only fourteen minutes tonight. I think he needs to play more. I know it was first national game. I, I, yeah, I was going to say that's but, a really big factor. Mm. I think it. I think it all went into the the whole case of that. He's a Russian player coming from a Russian league, and he's got to get used to the way the pros play it now. So, mm-hmm. you know, you just got to give him time. You got to give him time to condition. You got to give him time to catch up. He might be he might be a tough guy, but that doesn't always mean that you got the best stamina. Doesn't, you don't always got the most energy, you know? Can you believe Matt Tennyson played tonight? Really? That was a shocker. That's yeah, Tennyson crazy. played 17 and a half minutes, two shots on goal, was a minus one, didn't play bad. Now, oh. remember what we talked about yeah, the other it's day? It's good that they're at least giving guys, guys in the mix, though. So. You know what we talked about the other day? Phil isn't afraid to mix it up. Yep. Competition, he doesn't care. He wants to win. Best man will be on the ice. Oh. Bogo, Georges, and Molson were all scratched tonight. And I'm I, not surprised. At all, the I, I was shocked that Bogo yeah. and George's. Man. I was like, wow. Tennyson. Might be a sign that they're getting traded. Olsen's been sticking around, but you know, mm-hmm. he he's somebody who he's somebody who, who goes and comes back. Because guess what? What did he do? He he went and he came back. So he took a hit last year. Yeah. And he dropped. And he, the drop off looks like it's continuing. And the cap hit's still there, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. So I think they just need to work their ways to clear a little bit more space because Jack's contract's another thing. Yeah, man, I'm just... I am a little shocked that uh, Molson didn't play tonight. I'm still kind of like... Seth Griffith, Griffith played tonight. You know, he had an assist on the first goal. So it's like, hey, man, you know, I'm not going to knock Phil. I want to see what you're going to do. We'll see how it's gonna go. We can't we'll argue with the results tonight. We'll see it really well. So I'm okay with that. There was a lot that we got out of it. I think it was a good first game to analyze. There was a few things that I could point out that they could work out defensive wise. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't commit a lot of turnovers, especially turnovers kill us. Turnovers kill right, us. Right, at least turnovers on first goal. The Canadians scored off of a turnover, so definitely work on that, guys. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Eighty-one games to go, yeah. and well, we got a point on tonight, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I hate saying that though. I mean, a tie is like kissing your sister, and you know, getting one point is kind of like. Mother, we had the chance well, to get two. It put, it, put us in, it put us in fifth, so at least we're not at the bottom. Nah, it's funny. Could be worse. Could be the Penguins losing 10-1 tonight to the Blackhawks. 
Oh, Penguins beat the Blackhawks. Excuse me, Blackhawks beat the Penguins ten to one tonight. Are you kidding? Me? I'm not kidding you. <laughs> that is dead serious. <laughs> that did happen tonight, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks, but I'm just now finding this out. And I'm not even lying to you. I, this is not even a joke and not even an act. I'm hey, I won't do, hey I'll def- <laughs> I will defend Pitt a little bit. one. I'll defend Pitt a little bit. They played last night. Going back to back your first two nights, that sucks. That's crazy, dude. But that's so Penguins are only, the Penguins are 0-2. Hey, well, that's what. You know what? what? When they say that the NHL needs more scoring, then I want them to go to that game. Because yeah. they'll be getting, that's 10 goals against one. Maybe hockey will start catching up to football defensively. But until that day, we'll... I bet the Penguins fans' ratings went down. Oh, God. I bet we're still the number one viewing audience in the NHL. I don't think we're one. I think we're four. But four is still good. I'm fine. I'm I think fine we'll be it. back. I think I think we'll be back at one, though, because we were at one at one point. Yeah. We were one two years ago during the drought. <laughs> You gotta love it. You love. You gotta love our dedication. Come on. Yeah. So we didn't get to go over our final cuts up to Rochester. Who moved up? Who moved down? And uh, we're gonna go over that right now. Finally, I couldn't think of his name today when I was talking about him. My, I couldn't think about my favorite prospect's name, Hudson Fashion. Oh yeah. Hudson went I down. Like him. C.J. Smith went down. Alex Nylander went down. Baptiste went down. Billy's still down. Listen to that list. Justin John, Bailey, John Malone. Malone, Casey Nelson. You you kidding me, man? It's a long list, man. That's all our prospects. Oh. And and we can't even get Molson, Bogo, and Georges on the ice. Yeah. Let alone our pro, let alone our prospects that have an opportunity to come up. Yeah. You know, it it kills me because I. I would like to see the young guys get something, something, so so they could get their experience and they could progress more. Though, well, you know, Bottrell's real big, and he came in the press conference. He said, "I'm real big at development." That's how Pittsburgh won back to back cups. They yeah. keep it inside. They develop so their own guys. That's where he's from, right? Look where he's from. Of course, keep it inside. Develop our own guys, and when we have to let someone go because we can't pay them, someone next man up. Mm-hmm. It worked. They have two cups, and they still have a solid build. And it's like the penguins aren't going away for a long time, unfortunately. Yeah. Looking at that list right there, of what we have in Rochester, pff, we should be loaded. We are. We still have plenty of picks left, so I'm not really worried about that. My favorite saber, Evan Bender Rodriguez. Evan didn't play tonight. Hey, you got placed on. He's hurt. hurt. I got it. Oh, I saw yeah, it. Time I his, hand, his hand was wrapped up. I wonder what's... You know, <clears throat> need to figure out more about that injury. But our final roster is looking good. I think Jordan Nolan played well. I was surprised about Seth Griffith. But my brother and me talked about him real in depth. And you know what? He's had a few good years mm. with Boston. And so it's like... He looked, both of the stats, it looks like he was ready to pop. And he didn't play bad tonight. So it's like, you know what, maybe he is ready to pop. I, yeah, I, I think they're, I think they'll, I think they'll actually, I mean, well, right now they're probably going to win tomorrow. I guess that I'll um, I hope they'll, so. They'll make up for what they, <laughs> they'll make up, it wasn't, it wasn't even terrible tonight, but they'll make up for what happened. We will see in the Barclays tomorrow night. But our last thing we will touch on today is something we've been talking about since our first two shows. Something yeah. you and I have been talking about for months, waiting for. When is Jack going to get paid? This guy right here. The fight between the GM oh, and his guy. agent. He had to get paid. Oh, come over. Jack Huckle's contract finally came through. He needed the money finally. Eight years, eighty million dollars, ten million dollar cap hit per season. Are you happy with the contract, Josh? Um, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I I think that I think that they didn't do anything wrong with this contract. You know, there's a lot of people that might talk it down, but I don't I don't mind I don't mind what they're doing with it. You know, they could they could control it over the years because. Once he gets performance out of out of it, then they can say, 
Jack, you want this much money this year, or you get a cap bonus this year? Like, it's it's eight years, so it's definitely restructurable. And, just, and depending on how he performs, you know, if he could he performs well, he gets a bonus. Dude, I'm seeing something here. In 2023, mm -hmm. the no movement kicks in. So we have four years. Let's see. We have five years to decide if Jack is going to work or not. Oh, Temple. So, see, that's why I think that. That's pretty, I think that's that, pretty cool. I think they worked it out. See, because you see what they did. Ten years, it's halfway. Mm -hmm. You know, five years through, we can see how he's progressing. Jack ain't working in three years. And yeah. the fifth year is the middle of that contract. So he should definitely be performing well because he's already a few years in. And so he's definitely going to be able to – the way he's going right now at the pace he's at and the mentality that he plays with, I think he could definitely be a future, a future leader. Man, he's got a pretty good clear-cut contract here. Look at the salary progression. <laughs> Zero to ten. Oh. Yeah, that's Look great. That jump. That's a high jump. Hey, you know what? I can't um, knock him. He earned this. And, um, it's Jack's time. I think it's just a sign that, that shows how much we trust in him and how much he trusts in us. Because, I mean, now is the time to show that uh, he could be a leader. Do you think Honestly. Jack should have got the captain already, or do you think we should wait on that? Decision? I think that we should wait, because I think we have multiple leaders in the locker room. Mm -hmm. I, I think right now they need to treat him still as a, a, a younger guy, because he, he still is, is a young sure. man. He's the same age as me. Mm. <laughs> it's one too much. Um, Dangerous. So I think that in the future, and, and maybe even next season or two seasons from now, he should definitely be rocking the C on his chest. Mm -hmm. And this season, if he proves it, then he can get the C on his chest for sure. I like that a lot because yeah. captain, it doesn't have to be your best player. Yeah. No, it's not, not always. always best player. Not always. And that's why I love the fact that they spread it between the four pe the four players with the A. Mm -hmm. Because it. The, it shows that you have four great leaders in your locker room. You don't just have to have one to focus on. You have two to focus on. A C and an A. You have four A's. <clears throat> yeah. There's a lot of continuity. And I, I don't know about you, but I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. And I think they played well tonight. Went to a shootout. Jack's contract, Jack's all set. You know, Ter Terry's, uh, Mr. Pagula is a little biased towards the Sabres. Sabres yeah. are his baby. <laughs> and everything. I'm glad that I'm not the only one that's not that this whole okay. entire time because it's pretty noticeable. And now I'm not down in the Bills. Mm -hmm. And that's, and not to mention them right now, you know, we'll, we'll get to them at some point in time. But. Oh, yeah, we will. They are 3 and 1. So. Um, we'll see. But yeah, no, this is my point on that. This is Terry's baby. Yeah. Jack's contract set. Team's looking good. Phil has free reign. I'm excited. Everything's going well. The, you know you know what I love the the thing that Terry Pugula learned about his first time going through um different coaches and the whole cycle of how both businesses work in the NFL and NHL is the fact that now he has learned to let his his other positions take control of their own positions. Do their job. Like you see on the Bills, Sean, he lets Sean McDermott control that whole entire team. Mm -hmm. He makes the moves, he trusts the decisions, he lets the he lets them happen within the coaching staff. Then he took Phil Housley now he's he's using the same exact approach. And so I love the thing the whole approach that he gave towards the the Sabres and the Bills this season. Some people would say our last two head coaches were sexy picks. Yeah. Rex was sexy, it looked good. Bosman was sexy, the cup with the penguins looked good. Mm. Both coaches now are hard working, grindstone guys. Who are winners and winning is the only thing they're thinking of. They're hard we're seeing play. both of them. They could they could dig into their players. Mm -hmm. you know? We're seeing that in, with the Bills with mm -hmm. Coach McDermott. And I'm very encouraged about tonight. 
they want to they want, they want give off a, they kind of want to give off a vibe of don't mess with us. They, they, are, leads, not, they are not to be messed with. And exactly that right there leads to our last thing, Josh. What would you say is the biggest thing you take away from tonight going into Saturday's game at New York against the Islanders? <clears throat> um, you know, play, come out, play, come out playing hard, put, put your team on the back. Hopefully, Jack Heigl can get a goal out of it this time. Um, step it up on defense a little bit. You know, they they didn't play terrible, but I'm not going to give them an A grade because it wasn't that great, and. Just back to what I said before, don't commit too many turnovers because clearly when you commit turnovers, what happens? The other team scores a goal, and you don't want to give them that advantage. And also, don't let shorthanded goals happen because that just makes you look terrible. There's nothing worse than hearing mm-hmm. that a team's getting scored on with a with a man missing. Ah, oh, you led into my seg- you led into my segue. My biggest thing I take away from tonight is the power play. And the opportunities we had, mm. and one for five tonight, the shorthand goal killed us. It was a bad goal anyway. It went yeah. off Robin's leg, but you oh, got to score, well, man. The first two, all the shots, they looked pretty good on the first two. If we would have one more goal, we would have won the game. That will be fixed. That will be looked at in film. I'm glad Friday they had today off to do the film. Approach the Islanders on Saturday night. Kyle Posto coming home. Yep. But I'm, I'm gonna take away the power play. We need to. You need to get home. You need to just send that home. Give it a harder approach. Be more offensive. And I know I said one thing, but I got to. I got to push this in. I'm pushing one more thing. I am really shocked that the trio of Bogo, Georges, and Molson did not dress all three of them. I am shocked. Mm. That is big to me. When I saw them come out on the bench, players. I was like. I do agree because those are kind of the players, man. You know, I mean, they just, they're, they're not the greatest, but they're the players that have been part of the team. Man, uh, excuse me. Two Molson Georges have been playing for 10 years. Bobo's been playing six or seven. Mm. This is legitimate veterans. That sent a message to me personally tonight that this is a competition. I will put the best guy on the ice. We are winning. We have playoffs on our mind. Yep. As a fan, that's the most exciting thing in the world. So when I saw those three on the bench to start the game when they did the open comeouts, I was like, good job. And it, and it showed up on the score sheet tonight. Jordan Nolan playing well. Jacob Josephson playing well. Yeah. And it's been playing well. Guys can step in. Hey. Tennyson playing well. Tomorrow, tomorrow, step it up and bounce back, you know? Or Saturday, Saturday. The game's on Saturday. Oh, well, it is Friday, so. Oh, maybe Friday. Friday. I wasn't correcting you because you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you let any last thoughts <clears throat> going in tomorrow? Just be, be aggressive and get a win. Be more aggressive. That's Josh's thing. My last oh. thing so it was great to see Jason Palmerville's reaction when he came out tonight. He's even better to Jason Palmerville will come back and score two more goals tonight. Mm-hmm. So. For me, Sean Joyce, Josh Boy, Josh Boy, <laughs> Sabers, oh and one, no no no, oh one, oh oh and one. We got a point. It's like kissing your sister. It's a tie, but hey, points are fine. We'll take your points. We're gonna learn a lot from this game tonight, and we'll see you again in Montreal coming up soon. And we'll see you later. Go Sabers. See you later.